Transistors are most important part of electronic devices. You will ask me why. Let's have a see. Hello and welcome to all watchers of our YouTube channel. Thank you for engaging with the content of this channel. Whether you are a new viewer or returning subscriber, we appreciate your support and value your feedback. Thank you for being a part of this community and we look forward to your continued support and engagement. Please subscribe and let's get started. Today we're gonna show you how we did test transistors before installing them on our DC DC controller. First of all, we would like to show you the circuit which we will gonna use. This circuit will help us to understand what we do and to be sure in our result. We will test several transistors and at the end of this video we will get very interesting and unexpected results. In this test we're gonna use two power supplies to get full saturation of our transistors and avoid the current drop on the base when we connect the load. The current of base we will limit with resistors 3 ohms. We will take the resistor 0.5 ohm as a load of our circuit. Let's put three current sensors and ampermeter to see how does our circuit work. And now we can see how does the current flow through our transistor. We can see that current of base is 3.5 amps, the current of the collector is 10.7 amps, and total current we have 14.4 amps. Let's have a look at the datasheet of the NPN tip 35 c transistor. What we can see, we can see that collector current limit uh, is 25 amps and uh, current of base limited by 5 amps. That means totally we can get the 30 amps through this transistor. And here we can see that this transistor can provide us the current gate from 10 to 50 times. Here we have three deep C NPN transistors. This one I have bought from the AliExpress. This one I have bought from one of the well-known distributor. And this transistor is from the AliExpress too, but I have bought it from another seller. So, and here we can see two transistors from the AliExpress from two different sellers on the right side and on the left side the transistor from well-known seller. And now we are ready to test them. Here is the three resistors by one ohm to limit our base current. Three transistors were mounted on the radiator to avoid hard shock from the peak load. To be able to get high current, we're gonna go to use the battery. Here we have the point to unite grounds from both of our supplies in our circuit. And here we're gonna measure the current from emitter of transistor. And we will be able to measure the voltage on the base of transistor. Now let's connect the power to the base of transistor and uh, what we can see here, we can see that the current flow from the base to emitter of the transistor absolutely the same that we could see on 
the model of our circuit let's check the voltage and we can see that here we have the 12 volts and uh, this voltage is absolutely safety for us to load our transistor we're gonna use the nichrome wire as we did when we tested our dc dc converter this transistor from the aliexpress and first of all let's have a test is this transistor possible to conduct current at all now we can see that on the low load this transistor conduct 30.6 amps that means we have 3.5 amps on the base of transistor and 10 amps through the collector we are not going to find where is the limit of these transistors we just want to know can we use this transistor in our series projects or no and are these transistors safe for us hmm. under the load we have got a lot of smoke and it seems to me that these transistors aren't good for our projects we can see that this transistor is absolutely fake and we can't use it in our project because it's not safety at all next transistor is from the aliexpress too let's try to test it as a previous one we will check this transistor with low load we can see that the uh, current of base is uh, 3.5 amperes and the same as i uh, have the previous transistor and uh, low load it's absolutely okay for this transistor too very interesting what we will see when we connect full load of this transistor is it possible we have absolutely excellent device no this transistor is not very good i think it's not a safety for us too One transistor almost got fired. One transistor exploded. It is possible we may contest. But we have one transistor from well-known supplier and we try to test it too. Everything on the same way. Put the current on the base and we can see that we have 3.5 amperes on the base next step we're gonna connect low load on the collector of this transistor at this time we have absolutely the same we have 3.5 amperes on the base and 13.16 uh, amperes on the emitter of this transistor and now the time to connect full load on this transistor as we did it in our previous tests this wire is getting hot very fast we can see that this transistor can conduct 90 amps on this uh, emitter that means we have uh, 3.5 amperes on the base of this and uh, we have 15.5 uh, on the collector of this let's try to increase the load and look at the ampermeter oops the current uh, 3.5 amperes is uh, warmed up the resistors and uh, they dissolved. Okay, we need a couple of seconds to fix it and um, then we try to go far. Friends, don't forget to subscribe on this channel, it will help us to grow and uh, make new projects. For further test, let's try to increase current of base of this transistor to get full current from the collector and the meter. The load was maximum increased and we can see that 31 amps we can get from this emitter. That means that collector can conduct 26 amperes that's really really good i think this transistor is very reliable and absolutely safe and we can use it in any our devices and 
uh, here we have some transistor more to test the cell told us that uh, this is a darlington npn type transistor toshiba 2sd1525 made in japan this transistor uh, more powerful and uh, we're gonna try them now to be sure what we can get from the aliexpress in the data sheet we can see 30 amps of the collector current uh, 5 amps of the current of the base and 200 dc current gain as a minimum This is a really interesting picture. You can lose your eye if you will not be careful enough. This Darlington transistor has a more size and must be more powerful than we tested before. Once again, we can see that the current of base is the 3 amps 0.5 connect low load and we can see that the transistor is okay and here we can see the same result this device is absolutely useless and very dangerous it seems to us that we know all about transistors from the aliexpress but we have one test more with an unexpected result When I received this package and when I first time look at it, I thought the seller sent me garbage as a mistake. And when I found the data sheet of this transistor in the internet, I was confused more. Look at this. We can see NPN power transistor 2SC3998. But the picture we can see the MOSFET transistor. It's crazy. But okay, let's look at it. We have current of the collector is 25 amperes. We have collector emitter voltage 800 volts. We have DC um, uh, current gain is minimum four and maximum eight. Frankly speaking, when I saw this transistor first time, I thought that it's no reason to test it but uh, we have to finish our job and we have to make full test. We put the current on the base and the transistor doesn't fire and we have 3.5 amperes on the base. When I tried to connect low load, I thought that the transistor will dead right now. When we connect full load, we just see the 14 or 13 amperes that uh, because current gain uh, is uh, between 4 and 8 and uh, we need to get high the uh, base current to get uh, more from this. Let's calculate. Uh, DC current gate is equal minimum 4 that's equal of 14 amps divided by 3.5 amps. That's it's absolutely correct. Okay. When we increase the current of the base, we've got up to 20 amps, and I think it's good result. Of course, I will never put the 800 volts on, on it, but uh, I think with careful, we can use this device with uh, our project. Thank you everyone who watched our video, please subscribe, give me a like and we hope we will meet you again.